Hello everybody, welcome back to Jeff's Computer Service on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to set up remote access for your true NAS scale. And we're going to be using a third party application called Zero Tier. For those that do not know, Zero Tier is basically like a VPN mesh connection. And there's a good thing about it. If you want to use it for yourself, it's basically free. You can have one user up to it and connect up to 25 devices. If you have it for business, up to ten dollars or if you want to use it for a commercial get in touch with sales really convenient program if you want to set up remote access for anywhere in the world that you need your, to connect to your devices and just to not cause any confusion we're going to be using TrueNAS scale for this there's two different versions we got TrueNAS scale and TrueNAS core now you'll be asking yourself why would i need to use a third-party application instead of not just opening the ports directly from the router to do this process well basically some people that you may know or may not know might have, due to their ISP, something called CGNAT. CGNAT basically means carrier grade NAT. Basically, having this type of network instead of having regular NAT, you're not going to be able to open ports if you have a CGNAT. In my case, I have CGNAT. I cannot open ports. So for me, this doesn't work. I would need to re rely on a third party application to open the port so I can connect to them remotely by anywhere in the world. So if you have CGNAT and you're going to use this program, this is going to be a perfect opportunity for you to get started. So let's just go ahead and get started with the process. First up, you're just going to open up your zero tier central console. And from here, all, we, all we're going to do is just create a network. Your network has been created. Now just click on it. Now I'm going to give this network a name. I'm going to keep everything really simple. I'm going to just name it, since we're going to be using for, for NAS, I'm going to just name it NAS Network. And we actually want our, our client devices to connect automatically instead of private. So in terms of access control, we're going to put it in, in, in public. This would be the best thing to do for what you're about to do right now. So this computer is going to be connected with this network right now. So let's just keep further down. Here, you can change the IP address or leave it the same. You can choose from all of these or just change it. In my case, I really don't have a preference. I'm going to just keep it how, how it is default. I really do not need to touch anything else here. You can just leave it default. Everything else, can, you can change it up to your preference if you know what you're doing. If you do not know, just leave it how it is. So just scroll down all the way here. Here in manually add a member, if you set the configuration to the access control to private, you will need to add the, the ID of the member. The ID of the member is basically, once you have the icon here, see my address, that's your member ID. That's what you need to put here so you can manually add it. In our case, it's public, so we do not need to do that part. So you can see here, no device is connected. Now, all that we need to do now is basically go here to the icon, Right click it, click on join new network. As you can see here, I did a previous one. I'm gonna forget that one because I, because I do not need that one. Let's, let me just skip that for a second. Okay, there we go. Now join a new network. Now here you're gonna enter the 16 digit network ID. The network ID will be this. It's gonna copy that. From there, just paste it up and join. Now this computer is connected to the NAS network. Now we're just gonna give it a few seconds and it's gonna refresh the page and it, should, and it should pop up here in a few seconds. Just wait for this to load and there it is. Perfect. Now as you can see, that's the number 3343, I'm sorry, 334C. If you right click here, that's the address ending in 334C, perfect. Now from here, I'm just gonna give it a name so I don't forget which one it is. I'm going to just name this computer one. Leave that how it is. Now that part is set up. Perfect. Now we're going to go to the true NAS scale. From here, go to the three lines and go to apps. And from apps, we're going to check available apps. From here, you're just going to scroll down. Don't bother in typing it. For some reason, it doesn't pop up, at least for me. So scroll down until you find it. It's going to be almost at the bottom. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And there it is. Click zero tier. From here, if you have not set up a pool, it's gonna tell you to create a pool first. In my case, I already have a pool set up. 
can see here the space and everything else available resources and even NAS 239 gigs for the example and everything I must just click install now from here this can be set default all that we need to change here is here the zero tier configuration in the network we're gonna add a network in our case the network ID would be this one I'm gonna add that here and we need to make a token so to make a token go to your account here scroll down API access token you're gonna make a new one I'm gonna give it a name so I know which one it is uh, NAS token I'm gonna generate it now this is the new key that you're gonna use now write this down or put it on the notepad so you don't forget where it is because once you click once you click done it's never gonna appear again so write it down put it there there it is and here next time what we're gonna do is click on host network and you don't need to do anything else everything else can be left left as default and we're gonna click on install now we're just gonna wait for this to finish okay there it is it's deploying now we're just gonna go back to networks and now we should have two nodes connected I only see one which is the computer I'm gonna refresh that again two nodes there it is perfect now click on it again I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and there it is there's the NAS perfection now let's just put this as the NAS so I know which one it is and as you can see there's the IP address that it gave me given us now this is the computer IP address both of these both of these now my computer now has access to enter to this NAS all we need to do is basically just copy the IP and we're just gonna paste it for those that did not notice I'm actually connected right now to this one on my local address as you can see my local address is 192.168.123 now we're gonna go and access on it with the new one which would be 10.144.212.163 just click on enter you're gonna get this pop-up just continue to the site and there you have it you have successfully set up remote access to your true NAS scale now I'm just type in here admin and the password login and there you have it guys you have basically set up remote access for your true NAS scale now any computer or phone that has downloaded zero tier is going to have access to this to this server so if you were to download say for example the zero tier app on your iPhone or Android if the all you need to do is do the same process and just connect it to the network in this case this the NAS network for this example what you need to do is just add the ID and it should already have access to log in to the NAS server well guys that, that was basically it I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it pretty easy to use another note is I would like to put up here on the screen one of the the comments that someone suggested if this can be done on zero tier so I'll be putting that up there so people see where I where I got this reference on how to set it up so thank you for commenting that I'll be making more videos based on comments for ideas that I might do for the future if anybody has any issues that did not work for you please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible as always guys have a good one and I'll see you in the next one goodbye